so much about that professional professional setup. <laughs> um, yeah, welcome to my first my first live stream. I made myself a little tea, and uh, together we're gonna look through my old Imagine of X um, magazines. The thing is. I have had these lying around for quite a while now. They have been there doing absolutely nothing. But with the new year, I wanted to start uh, streaming, flipping through them and talking about them. I did this once before uh, and uh, I don't think it was a live stream though, but it was a video and I remember a friend saying like, yeah, this should be more interactive. So this has always been uh, up my mind. Hi, welcome. Um, yeah, let's let's start it. Let's do this. Um, I hope my setup works properly. I hope you can see enough. So this is Imagine FX number one hundred and ninety six. Um, next time, obviously, we're going through one hundred ninety seven. And uh, I made myself uh, I made myself a little tea. So let's jump on it. This is all very casual. I know people are usually doing this uh, much more professional, but for me, it's more about the chat than it is about the professional setup and everything, right? So, um, yeah, let's do this. The art of Peter Popkin, Grease Lightning, my painting masterclass. Hey, Alessia. Um, Okay. All right. I mean, I could go now through the entire. Um, let me align this properly. Hey, this works. I could go through the entire thing now and see what the table of contents is, but uh, it's not really about that. Um, because we're going through this anyway. Christina Khalida, this is amazing art. I didn't know this one. Check this out, seriously. Um, Photoshop, art station, kisses. Okay. I always miss these things on the side that have all kinds of information sometimes. I'm just flipping through that and it's just, I don't know, it's not there anymore. Yeah, anyway, Ron Sanders. By the way, <clears throat> hey Ace, how's the audio? Is this working? Again, this is my first live stream. Please let me know if something is not working as it should. I hope you can hear me properly. This is still very much a test. So, um, yeah. Uh, Ron is a fine artist whose paintings hang in private and public collections. He's created historical illustrations for limited edition prints, textbooks, and the U.S. Mint. Currently, he's pursuing the book cover game markets. All right. Thanks, Ice. Okay, cool. Perfect. I like perfect. Hey ho. Shield Maiden Snoo Snoo. Alexandra Kurt. Cool stuff. Ariadna Concha. Ariadne is a self-taught artist who draws her inspiration from video games and films in her work. She wants to replicate the same dynamic visuals and storytelling found in these mediums. Anna Orlova. I have met Anna. This has been years ago. Cool to see her in here. I met her in Paris during an event. And we took a really funny selfie. Very funny together with Anastasia, the best online concept art schools. All right, so we are, <laughs> we are in 2020 here right now. Yeah, so um, 
I'm not sure if all these the schools that I mentioned here still exist or are still to be recommended at the same time. Class acts. Luck down needn't stop you learning concept art or extending your skill set. Tom May presents eight great places to study online. By the way, I think maybe it would be cool to have some music since we're doing this in a very casual manner. If you can link me to any kind of uh, music that won't be banned by <laughs> won't be banned by YouTube, then uh, just uh, let me know. Iris Compit is one of the instructors. Bobby Pontellas. This is schoolism from Bobby Chu. Learn squared. I think everybody knows learn squared. Pablo Dominguez. Hey, Pablito. You are in here. Visual arts passage. I've never heard of that one. Is that any good? Didn't need art, concept art school and still managed to get into the game industry as a 2D artist. Yes. Um, that doesn't mean that nobody needs it or nobody should get it. I mean, it's great that it works, but it's also great if it helps, you know? This was the Spectrum cover, wasn't it? I think so. Visual Arts Passage. Anyway, I don't, I've don't. i never heard of the, those. Proko, obviously, no, everybody knows uh, Stan Prokopenko. I think he's, yeah, he's always on the, on the backside of the magazines anyway, so. My OBS sometimes shows a little lag when I'm doing this, so I'm not sure if the quality is that good. I hope, though, that my audio is not breaking off or anything. I expect you to tell me. But sometimes when I'm flipping here, this seems a bit wonky. I'm trying this. I'm looking at the screen right now. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, it's in, it's the same in the stream, so I probably have to figure out a way to have this not look like that. I will hopefully fix this in the next stream. But I hope the camera looks all right. Yeah, even that sometimes cuts off weirdly. Anyway, Norman CG Society, CG Master Academy. All right, a day in the life of a concept artist, creative talk, Karolina Tello Zelitsky, an art director at California-based studio, Sanzaro Games. Art flips is creating issues. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. Anyway. By the way, so I hope you guys got yourself a hot beverage and enjoy the time with me. Today I am drinking, <laughs> what is this? The tea is called Karibische Mango. Yes, it's German. It's a German tea. I believe in video games as an art form. I love to create experiences for people. But these past nine months, my day has looked a lot different than normal. Not only am I juggling being a full-time art director, but my young son is being schooled remotely too. Yep. Yep. Great. Great when parents speak up. Uh, this is this is an aspect not often enough highlighted. Working as an artist uh, and being a parent. How did you get these magazines? It's the first time I see. I really. Imagine FX is uh, is is actually quite the famous thing. Um, Hey, hey, Victor, guys, Victor just got married. Congratulations, Victor. <laughs> Dude, you should be doing different things now. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, these, these magazines are actually very known. It's not, not an old thing. They are, they're quite known. All right. Artist in residence. 
Colleen Doran, the award-winning US artist writer, wants her studio to be a comfortable as comfortable as possible. She tells us that it's not work to her, it's oxygen. That's a great studio. I should give you guys a studio uh, tour as well. There's space to work in many mediums and to try different things, but it's not, it's easy to lose track of it all. <clears throat> That's where it's at, the collection. All right. Not many art books here. Yeah. I recently got myself like a, a rowing machine, you know, so uh, I'm, I'm, I look, so I started doing archery recently and uh, recently, almost a year ago now. And uh, I really wanted to, um, to build some muscle in the way that it, it benefits the sport. So I got myself a rowing machine now with a water tank, just like uh, the guy in, uh, in House of Cards. <clears throat> just like that. And it's fun. And it's fun. And it can get complicated if you have things between your legs. I will say that too. Artist portfolio Peter Popkin. The concept artist tells Gary Evans how a long and varied apprenticeship led to success in the film business. Great stuff. Always, I'm not sure if, if I should, I don't know, if I should read the articles actually, but I, I don't really think that's, I'm gonna be selective about it. Enlightenment came finally when I discovered the work of Sidney. Yeah, like for many others. Big role model. I think Imagine Effects could have more full pages. To create the perfect illusion, concepts need to be grounded in reality. That's absolutely true. That's what every concept artist tells me. And then just a pinch of crazy. It's an advantage to work fast and use the spontaneous energy, the sensation of the moment. Yes. I recently gave that recently. Two years ago, I gave this advice also to, to a friend of mine um, who was, I would say, struggling a bit. Um, um, struggling a bit with, uh, I don't know, with getting their style, I guess. And uh, I told them to uh, to set a time limit to what they're doing, to do essentially work faster. Because if you work faster, you put more um, emphasis on the things that make your drawing special and you leave away the things that maybe are not as important and you learn a lot about your process as well. Uh -huh. TCK, the one and only. If you don't, if you don't know Thomas Chamberlain Keane, then that's your loss. I hope I fixed this with uh, you watching this. Um, Thomas is not only a super nice guy; he's also probably, I would say, one of the best artists I know. Uh, he's fast. He's precise. He has a distinct style, and his lines are always on point. Absolutely on point. Yeah. Friggin' crazy. Started to play with the idea of mental stability, a strength outside the body. Yeah, we had that chat. We had that chat. I was trying to improve my storytelling so the full set of 31 drawings are sequential. Yeah, he's working on his own IP. No surprise, but it's absolutely great. All right, Imagine FX workshops advice from the world's best artists. Lane Brown shares his process for composing two characters with an interesting balance of contrast and harmony to achieve greater impacts. This is cool. This is the cover. 
I'm not sure, is, is the Vertex event still happening? If any one of you knows, let me know. I think we went, they went virtual with it. Blender, sketch with the grease pencil. James Lewis Vines uses Blender's acclaimed grease pencil tool to help him quickly visualize an immersive underwater environment. Yeah, I think this is something that is not really easy to be shown in a printed medium. I think this is something that works probably well in a video. Um, they probably have this as a video as well. But yeah, interesting. Absolutely. I've seen artists work with that. If you see it live, if you watch it live, it's really, it's an experience. Freshen up your skills, make new resolutions, and aim high for your best artistic year ever. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's probably this issue here, the one that we will look at next time. <clears throat> Fifteen tips for better matte painting. Sabi many, many hi, many hey. I don't know how to say the name. Where are the articles that we can discuss? Should I go back to to one of them? I'm not sure like we've been running through this very fast macbook pro hardware test okay yeah so by now this is also outdated obviously yeehaw all right reviews my personal favorite back then at imagine fx their reviews and i'm gonna say this they don't i don't know they don't really make sense because there, there were reviews where the book was kind of like uh, trashed in a way. And it still got five stars. And a star rating for something that is so subjective. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a fan of that at all. I always try to not rate something. Rating. Rating is just as useless as awards. Seriously. Character building. After being kickstarted into life in less than a day, expectations are high for Peniel Oerum's latest book. Yeah, and always a lot of 3D total in here. With Peniel Oerum's Instagram followers edging towards the 1 million mark, there's clearly an appetite for the work of the Danish character designer. And illustrator, but rather than publish another collection of her art from the past few years, Panil's third book takes a more ambitious approach. Four out of five stars. I am not even reading why only four. Oh, yeah. Sketching from the... What? Imagination. All right. Anime and manga. The world of Dark Crystal. Here, is, this is interesting. This is interesting. Iris Compit. Is it? Brian Frog. Oh, wait a second. Oh, this is not the one. This is not the bestiary. My bad. Anyhow, the one with Iris is extremely good. Imagine effects, traditional artist, inspiration, and advice from the best pro. So they are actually dividing this. I, I mean, I might be a bit obtuse here. I didn't know they were dividing this between traditional and digital. Jason Maori. Yeah. Friggin' amazing. Absolutely amazing. I mean, look at this. <laughs> the hair. Antonio Sandoval. As a kid, Antonio loved listening to scary folk stories. 
and it's these tales that taught him to make his own dark work. Having worked for design agencies, Antonio has progressed into comics and children's books. I have some of them, and I can tell you um, that uh, you can find him under the uh, name Reign of Doom, I think, on Instagram. And uh, he's also part of the Super Annie Collective and an absolutely amazing artist. Amazing, really. Draw fantasy art from reference. Patrick J. Jones draws a fantasy character based on a Photoshop, on a photo shoot, sorry, using his anatomy <laughs> on a Photoshop, his anatomy knowledge to go beyond what was originally captured in camera. I don't know if you know his work, but I hope now you know. It's good stuff. Hey, Melissa. You just joined while this is over. We're through first impressions. Crawl. Exploring art on his own terms is important to this English illustrator. Yeah, that was a quick one. I don't, I'm not sure to be fair, Panil's stuff is more in line with works that gets popular on Instagram. Yeah. Absolutely. Nothing wrong with that. There was something there. There was something here that I want to chat about anyway. I mean, not only is the art really good in here. So the best online concert art schools. There is, there is this thing that I realized um, that I realized early in this, uh, in, in, in 2020, actually, pretty much when this also came out. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure if the, if the future of education is gonna remain, uh, with, with art schools and, and watching tutorials. I think mentorships are something that has become, uh, quite more popular and is something that should be pursued way more the the idea of having one person teaching you a fragment of what they know maybe a big one or a small one is probably more in line with the creative process than sitting in a class and learning things with many people the one-on-one -on -one experience is always going to result in i don't know in in better learning i guess because i mean the, the smaller the class and the better the lessons it's um, I've seen these, these rooms in some art schools in some countries, I think one of the most China where like, like halls for, of people painting. Um, and it just showed how little individualism was in there. So um, I'm all up for, for mentorship. Yeah. Yeah. They're more direct. You can get direct feedback on everything that you're doing. So in my opinion, yeah, I think mentorships are, are the future. And the, the funny part with mentorships is also that you now have more people, um, more professionals doing art. Um, because all these people who started out eventually became these professionals, right? So as a conclusion, eventually all these people who started out are now professionals. So more people to learn from, which means more opportunities to be mentored. This is freaking good tea. <laughs> Sometimes mentorships can be, I, I would say, I mean, depending on, on the, um, the mentor, the instructor, obviously, but in general, I really think it's, it's the way to go. I think it's, yeah. Yeah. See, I heard that I heard this a lot about blender. Yeah. What you're saying is true. Um, with blender, I heard this a lot because a lot of people who were doing 2d art and just sometimes some 3d elements were eventually uh, be, being like, okay, I got to try out blender. So obviously if you are not that versed in doing anything in 3d, having someone 
look behind, uh, standing behind you and explain to you uh, how to pull something off, right, will result in and faster learning. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, that's it. My tea is almost ready. This uh, was Imagine FX 196. It was a good stream to figure things out. I'm gonna, um, yeah, I ha I'm gonna have to, to figure out some tech issues here with whenever I'm doing something fast or doing flip throughs, the camera is getting wonky but i have a good idea of what uh, what to achieve now and i will try to figure this out until next time i uh, thank er thanks everybody who joined um this has been an absolute delight and uh, have a good day and uh, see you next time bye bye <laughs>